What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we have to talk about Friday the 13th once again because this seems like it's actually going to happen. It seems like it's more and more likely that we are getting a Friday the 13th movie next year in October on Friday the 13th. They could release it on a different date, but what better way and what better date to do this movie or release this movie than in October on Friday the 13th next year. New Line Cinema who we know has worked on a few other previous Friday the 13th movies. Uh, they put out this Instagram post that has everybody talking. Now, a lot of a lot of it recently so far as this recording is going under the radar, but I'm starting to see more articles pick up on it too. They put out this Instagram post with a screenshot of, the, of a phone home screen, of course, with an Instagram message to New Line Cinema from Jason Voorhees. It says, Jason Voorhees wants to send you a message. And then, this, and then their caption says, uh-oh, what do you think Jason Voorhees wants? obviously jason voorhees to us and to them what they might be getting at is he wants another movie and it's time for him to get another movie i just want to retrace everything that's happened so far this year as it pertains to this so in august of 2018 not 2018 august of this year uh not so just last month roy lee he went out on the boo crew podcast something with bloody disgusting and shared that maybe by the end of the year we would hear something about a about the Friday the 13th series teasing that we could be getting a huge update something exciting by the end of the year nothing really to say that it was a movie or not but that's of course what what it might have been to begin with coming from him why would he tease it like that it, it had to have been a movie then you have the Sean S. Cunningham stuff his cameo page which I know has been updated at this point I guess to not have that anymore but he did have his bio updated saying that a 13th Friday the 13th movie would be scheduled for release next year uh, we know Sean was the one involved with this battle going on between him and Victor Miller. And then now we have this where New Line Cinema, who is one of the distributors of some recent Friday the 13th movies, putting out a teaser like this. Like this is this is not this right here is the biggest thing out of the bunch. The fact that this distributor went out of their way to put out a teaser like this, they're cooking up something. Something's being cooked. All the cooks are being arranged. Everybody's about to get in the kitchen and Jason Voorhees is about to be back at Crystal Lake doing whatever it is he's doing next year. Next year in October, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees will be back. That is my prediction. If they do something else, that's fine. But there's no better time than right now. As far as like if they're actually already coming up with a screenplay, I don't know who the writers would be. Uh maybe they actually again i've talked about maybe even bringing on david bruckner or somebody else who's worked on another pitch because the other thing that's funny about this is i've mentioned this in one of my previous friday the 13th videos i did recently roy lee he was the one that was already associated with another friday the 13th project back in 2018 i believe when it was supposed to be a movie being produced by both him and lebron james so is lebron james the missing piece of this puzzle i'm just joking but <laughs> maybe lebron james is going to end up joining back with roy lee and help produce this upcoming friday the 13th movie uh now with the whole new line cinema stuff I feel as though with New Line Cinema, that kind of might be catching some people off guard. They're like, oh, well, what about Paramount? Just to remind everybody, Paramount Pictures, they lost the rights to this when they failed to produce anything for the, for those five years that they had it. They had like a five-year window to my memory. You can look up the research if you want to fact check and correct me in the comment section. That's fine. I don't have it all up in front of me. They had like a five-year window, I believe, to make a Friday the 13th movie. And it just never happened. Them and Platinum Dunes, the Michael Bay Company, it just never happened. Then we know, of course, they lost the rights after this legal battle started or they lost the rights. And then after losing said rights, they had a legal battle start up with Victor Miller and Sean S. Cunningham, that being. And then when Paramount lost those rights, they reverted back to New Line Cinema. Now, New Line Cinema, to my knowledge, the only most recent movies from the Friday the 13th franchise I can think of that they did were Freddy vs. Jason. They might have had something to do with the 2009 movie in some capacity. And then Jason Goes to Hell the Final Friday. Because I know that was another issue that was like holding up them making Freddy vs. Jason for many years. But then when New Line was able to have some type of say with both parties, that's when Freddy vs. Jason became something that was more doable. So New Line Cinema... For anyone that might have been thrown off that is not Paramount, Paramount again lost the rights to this many years ago. And actually, 
someone who is involved with the franchise who starred in one of the movies uh larry i forget his name he he was shelly in friday the 13th he was shelly in friday the 13th he's a lawyer now but i'm forgetting his name he chimed in a few years ago with a tweet in 2018 to let everybody know that new line cinema owned the title to friday the 13th it wasn't sean s cunningham who owned like anything to do with the title itself uh, that belongs to New Line Cinema. So New Line Cinema putting out a tease like this, it makes sense when considering some of those facts that are out there. Jason Voorhees seems like he's going to be back very soon, very fast. And it seems like we are going to have a big announcement about this coming at the end of the year, like Roy Lee was already telling us. Because I'm assuming he didn't know all these teases would be present along the way. Because what could have happened with that cameo thing... Sean S. Cunningham could have purposely had that included in his bio and then purposely deleted. And now you have New Line Cinema doing something as well. So what if New Line Cinema then deletes their post? I'm just saying, what if this is a this is a way to just play with us until we get to the end of the year when the movie is announced? We have our screenwriters attached announced. We have a director announced with it. We find out who's playing Jason. We find out that the script has already been written. We find out Victor Miller and Sean S. Cunningham have come together. They've put their differences aside and they're about to produce and make another iteration of Jason Voorhees to put out into the modern era. Now, the whole concept of how New Line went about teasing this, because I, I had a couple people saying that the Gen Z stuff that I was talking about sounded like a bad idea now the only thing that i would say would be bad about that is if it's overdone because i did say that you don't have to overdo it having tiktok and all these social media platforms in a friday the 13th movie i see nothing wrong with that i think you can still keep it very simplistic you just don't need to go over the top with the social media aspect of it because this screenshot that they decided to tease new line cinema that being of a home of a cell phone home screen with a message from jason on instagram might be a tease of what direction they want to take and some little trinkets that are going to go into this next movie if they bring in a social media aspect and maybe have jason kill someone on a live stream there was already talk about like a found footage angle once before they don't have to do that completely but let me know what y'all think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications your name this video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video